Welcome. Today we are going to review the setup of third-party phones on the Forta Voice system. From a manual configuration standpoint, Forta Voice can work with pretty much any SIP-based IP phone. No licensing is required. However, this means that every phone needs to be touched in order to configure the manual provisioning of the server information and extension credentials. This would be a tedious process for the system administrator, especially when dealing with a large number of handsets. Auto provisioning for third-party phones is available with Forta Voice's third-party phone license, which is available in bulk of 10 or 100. In this case here, I have a license available to support 10 third-party phones. In this demonstration, we will be configuring Cisco model 8841, but this can work for any Cisco phone in the 7800 series or 8800 series. However, before we start, there are a couple of things to be aware of. First, the Cisco phones should be using the Cisco Enterprise stock firmware, and the firmware version should be 12.0 or higher. On the Forta Voice side, go to System Advanced and auto provisioning. Scroll all the way down and make sure that the TFTP is enabled. This is disabled by default. Next, go under system network and review the network interface that will be used and ensure that the TFTP access is also enabled. Return back to Advanced Auto Provisioning. You will want to make sure that you have configured DHCP Option 66 on the network. Option 66 should be configured either with the TFTP URL or the IP address. This will be dependent on the Cisco phone model. Now we are ready to configure the Cisco extension on Forta Voice. Go to Extension, IP Extension, and click on New. Give the extension a number and a display name. Under Device Settings, set the type to Fortaphone. For the device, click on New. Enter the MAC address of the Cisco phone. Under Phone Model, you will find the Cisco 8800 series selection. Choose that and it will automatically select the appropriate phone profile. Next, click on Create. Now that was the manual configuration setup. Because this will be a supported Cisco phone on the Forta Voice system, you can also upload a CSV file containing the Cisco extension information as highlighted here. Now let's prepare the phone for network connectivity. Set the Cisco phone to factory default so that you are working with a clean slate. There's two ways to go about this. There's the manual process. The manual process requires you to disconnect the PoE cable from the network port on the back of the phone then reconnect the cable while holding down the pound sign. As soon as you see the phone start powering up, dial one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, star zero pound. You will then see the mute button turn red. In this case, we're going to go through the phone menu. Start by pressing the gear icon and scroll to Admin Settings. Next, scroll to Reset Settings and choose All Settings. Click on the Reset button. Now the phone is going through the boot up process. It will start first by detecting the network parameters. You will get a pop-up regarding the service mode. Ignore this part and let it cancel out. Now the phone is registering. And we can see that the phone has successfully registered as extension 3019. 
And if we take a look at the management interface for extension 3019, we can see the IP address that it's been assigned, as well as see that the icon turned from red to green and mousing over, we can see when it's successfully registered. For more information regarding Forta Voice's third-party phone license, please contact your local Fortinet representative. Thank you for watching.